As some of you know, it's my 47th birthday today, and all I want for my birthday is a rescue mission to help this woman get her kidnapped son back. Someone messaged me and said that Christian Princess had posted a video about a woman whose son had been abducted. There's a link to that video in the description box. In short, a Christian woman in Malawi got into a relationship with a Muslim man when she was in college. They eventually had a son named Rayan. And once they had a son, the man really dialed up the pressure on her to convert to Islam. Side note, I've heard that story at least dozens of times, if not hundreds of times, over the years. Christian woman, Muslim man, oh, he's okay with me being a Christian, yeah, until the baby enters the picture. And that's when mom finds out that dad doesn't want any Christian influences on his children, so he becomes obsessed with making her convert. In this case, Roma, she's the mother, refused to convert to Islam. So the Muslim father forged some paperwork, secretly got his son a passport, and took Rayan to India. Roma just went to work one day, came home, and her son was gone. The father sent her a message and said that he doesn't want his son to go to hell, so if she's not going to convert, she doesn't get her son. Roma's been fighting to get her son back since the end of 2021, so it's been over a year. India won't take custody of her son and send him home unless she takes the case to court in India. She can't afford to do that. Her ex knows she can't afford to do that, which is why he took Rayan and fled to India. So he thinks he's won and there's nothing she can do. Pretty hopeless situation, right? Wrong, because we're going to send Roma on a rescue mission to get her son back. She's already in contact with lawyers in India, and she's ready to fight this in court. She just needs the funds to do it. Now, I got in touch with her. I told her I could get her the funds to go get her son, but that I would need some documentation to verify that she's not making this up. She sent me the original police report, the child recovery order from a court in Malawi, and records from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Malawi, and Interpol, and the Ministry of External Affairs in India, and the National Human Rights Commission in India. She's definitely not making this up, but she has to fight the case in India. So, if a bunch of us chip in, we can send Roma to India and cover her legal expenses so that she can get her son back. I have to say, of all the really awesome things we have an opportunity to do at some point in life, helping a kidnapped child get back to his mother is pretty high up there. There's a link in the description box. If you can, please send some support to Roma, and let's all pray that this story has a happy ending.